here. So today I'm bringing you a video of the mystery of the RoboSapien V2. Um, this is a video talking about what went wrong with the RoboSapien V2 and if they're going to come back or not. I would strongly encourage watching the, the whole video, and especially if you're going to try to buy a RoboSapien V2, I strongly encourage that you watch this. Now, the RoboSapien V2, it was released back in 2005, just in time for Christmas. Um, it was... It was like really expensive when it first came out. At my stores where I lived, it was about five hundred dollars. It was five. It was like four hundred to five hundred. In some cases, it was three hundred, which for the time was a lot of money. Now the right, the reason why it was called Robo Sapien V two was because its younger brother Robo Sapien actually no, not younger brother. It means older brother. Sorry, its older brother Robo Sapien V one was out in two thousand four. And it was the first humanoid robot. And then, to, then uh, 2005, RoboSapien V2 came out, along with RoboPet and RoboRaptor. Now, RoboSapien V2, he was great. I mean, he, he's, a, he's a big fella. He's tall. He's just amazing, to be honest. He's great. Now, there were problems with this thing. And some of which are still occurring today where the robot would break down very easily. Now there is a very easy explanation for this. They use cheap parts in the robot. They sold over a million units. And there might have been two batches. There, I'm, I'm assuming there was three to four batches of these things, maybe five. But maybe two batches of them were actually good. Now think of that. Over a million were made, and uh, over a million were sold. And maybe two batches were good ones. That's not many V2s. That's not a very good ratio. Now what happened is the most common problem that occurred with these things was it would short out. It would not turn on anymore. It would turn on, it would stop all, uh, nor just freeze, or whatever the case was. In some cases, it started on fire, it started smoking, whatever your uh, problem was with the ores, it was because most of the time, the wires shorted out, because the chemicals that they used in the grease did not agree with the wires, and it would actually break down the wire coating and then with all the movement with the legs, it broke down the wire. So it's basically chemical erosion. Or I mean, it, 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 the chemicals got into the wire coating and broke it down. And then with all the movement from the legs and all that, it just the wires the wires um, coating just literally flaked off. It it would just flake off. And then the, there'd be bare wires touching bare wires, and that would cause a short. And that's why I would stop working. Now, repairing these things is a pain in the ass, but I'll talk about that later. Anyways, going back to what I was saying, there are a lot of ways these things, these things could, have bro could have broken. Okay, There was the wires, there was the hand snapping, there was the neck snapping, there was the leg that popped off, there was the board that fried out, one of the eyes could have turned off, the camera was faulty out of the factory, I could go on. There's a lot of things that went wrong with these things. They I mean for something that was that much money, it was reported the breakdown within two years. But by 2007, there were already reports of it broken. And right away, Wowie Robotics was accepting returns. But after like three years of it, they stopped. Like you couldn't return them anymore. They wouldn't allow it because of how many of that broke down. Now, I have estimated for the wires that it takes about three to four years. For him to start breaking out. For the plastic parts, heck, it could take up to a week. It, depending on how much you use it, the the plastic parts could break it with. They could break within a week. And if you get a white V two, the sun uh, UV rays or sunlight uh, interferes with the plastic, and then the plastic gets yellowed. And then when the plastic yet when the plastic's yellowed, it's weak. It's a very weak plastic then, and it cannot handle much beating. It, it'll basically, you could basically snap it with your fingers. So, a lot of things went wrong. Over a million were sold, over, oh, I, I guarantee you, over 500,000 uh, 500, were broken. And 
uh, before our group believed that UK V2s did not break down. The ones with the trash symbols on their butts. But lately, we've seen cases from their, you know, from eBay and their repair service that UK V2s have been broken. They have had bad wires. So we're starting to think, at least I am, that no, no one got a good one. The only V2s that were built good, or built well, were the black ones, the black and silver ones. And Jordan or Joe in videos has a video saying the black Robo 7 V2s don't get bad wires and people were hating on it. Well, the, what else are we supposed to believe? They don't, the wires don't break down. They don't get bad wires. They're, they're, they basically use RS media wires. So, again, there was, there was a lot of batches of them made. And there, were, there was the first generation, which had the light on the controller, the light chase function. The, the, the green LED in the front that lit up, it was like a spotlight, and the, robot, and the robot was supposed to chase it around. The second generation, basically after the first generation, they stopped with the light function thing. It was still in the programming and the coding of the robot, it just wasn't on the, on the robot's controller. Um, then there was the second version, which have, which have the blue inner bodies. The outside skeleton is whatever color you chose, but then the inside, the inner plastic, is blue. That is a generation two. Generation three was just a normal generation. Now I'm, just, now I'm, I'm either generation three or four was the sharper image series. Well, the sharper image series came out with like the Mark Tilden signature. Came out with like you know the Chrome RoboSapien V1, the, Ro the Chrome RoboPet. Basically, the Chrome ones were the sharper image ones, and that batch was also bad for the V2s. There's and I'm assuming there is a fifth batch left over after the sharper image. And then there was the last batch, again, I have braces, sorry for my, you know, my sh sounding weird. But anyways, um, the, anyway, at the last batch that they were created of the Rosehapen V2 was the black and silver one. And the black and silver one, they got their crap together and they put good wires in them. They still broke with the plastic pieces and usually the fingers didn't open. But hey, the wires worked so it lasted. People have black ones that work to this day. I have a, a red one and a white one, they both work. Because they've been rewired by Kevin. Now, how I have told it out, or estimated it, or hypothesized, is that any V2 you're going to buy, except for black, is going to be broken. Even brand new and boxed RoboSapien V2s that you're going to purchase these days are going to be broken. If they aren't broken, they'll break within a week or two. Because they've still been soaked in that grease for 10 years now, and... As soon as you turn them on and make them move around, within a week, they're probably going to be broken. They're probably going to be broken down, and it won't work anymore. There's many ways so you can rewire it. The easiest way is to electrical tape them. The harder way is just take out all the wires and solder in new ones, but that can't always be successful because sometimes the board can be fried. There's just a lot of things. Now, there, now people have been blaming Mark Tilden for this. This isn't Mark Tilden's fault. He designed the robot. He wasn't the one who chose the parts being put in it. Okay, so people that are blaming Mark Tilden don't. It's not his fault. It's Wowie Robotics' fault. The company that's made the all amazing MIP, MIP the Gyro Robot, or, you know, RoboMe, or RoboSapien X, and RoboRaptor X, the new robots are coming out soon. Those ones, that company made the RoboSapien V2, which was a colossal failure. It's a pretty cool robot, but it was a failure, okay? It, it, I mean, that thing was so expensive. And yet, you had it within a few years, it was broken. I called it a failure. I, I have two of them, and I really like mine, but it was, they, they kind of failed on it. I mean, it's surprising to me that a teenager can, can fix a, a million dollar company's mistake. Simple thing. If you would have spent like maybe five, maybe like 20 cents extra on wires, you could have had, you, this wouldn't have happened. So, yeah, now Kevin's making some money off of your mistakes, so good for him, right? Anyways, is Wowie Robotics coming back with the RoboSapien V2? No, they are not. They have clarified it, and they might, they might, maybe, maybe they'll, you know, surprise me. But they've clarified it, they've told me and Anthony, and I think Jordan and Kevin both, that RoboSapien V2 is not coming out again. They're not making a micro version, nothing like that is coming out for him. They say it's too much money to make the plastic, it's too much money for the mold, it's too much money for the programming, etc. 
when really your excuse is you don't have the balls to bring him back. You're you're afraid that it's going to do the same thing it did before when you just need vel uh, velvet wires because those ones actually work. That's the one that has my that's one that my red one that's my red one's wires velvet wires. So that's kind of the, that's kind of the um the gist of it. There was over a million of them sold and basically only one batch, maybe two batches were actually good. All the, the sharper image ones were actually said to last the longest beside the black ones because they were they're newer and they used actually somewhat decent parts in them. The sharper image ones, but Anthony has had a sharper image one if I remember right and it did break. Um but it did work, it just had problems with the parts, because again, bad parts. Anyways, though, that kind of concludes the video with the mystery of it. It wasn't really that big of a mystery, people. It's just the fact that Huawei Robotics got lazy, or they didn't know what they are doing, they didn't know what the chemicals would, enter, would uh, mess with the wire coating like that, and it broke it down. I mean, and the, they, they definitely knew about the parts. The parts, they, you know, come on, they're using cheap plastic parts in it. I mean, this, there's a lot of ways that they could break, like I said. And there's not many repair services out there that are that are really good that can fix them. I mean, Kevin's is really the only one out there right now that's actually decent enough to do a good job. Anyways, though, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video is helpful for you, for you. And if you want to know my opinion on buying a Robo 7 V2, just don't buy one. They're not worth it. They're not. I mean, people are gonna ask outrageous prices for them, and they're not worth it. I mean, the only, if you must buy a Robosapien V2, just go safe and buy a black and silver one. Don't go for a red one. Don't go for a white one. Just get a black and silver one. Don't try to get a UK one. Just get a black one. Black and silver ones are the only ones that were actually built to last. None of the other ones were. And if you do buy a bad one, then I recommend looking for Kevin's Repair Service to get it fixed up because they do a pretty good job on that. So... Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.